Let's have a look at installing your brand new Hiarx Chess Explorer. Now in this video I'll actually be using the download version of Hiarx Chess Explorer so if you're using the DVD version, the version that comes on a disc itself then uh, the process will be slightly different but only at the very beginning. The very first step will be different after that we're just following the prompts as normal and the process will be exactly the same. So, as I say, we're going to be using the download version, and my downloaded file is here. Set up Hiarx Chess Explorer, it's here on my desktop. Obviously, depending on where you've downloaded it to, it may be in a different location. But where, wherever it is, just locate that file, and all you need to do is double-click, double-left-click to start the installation. Um, if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know that sometimes there's something I quite like to do on Windows 7. It's not a necessary step. But it's a habit I've got into is just right clicking instead of double left clicking and then left clicking on run as administrator. You don't need to do this but the process is exactly the same. Just double click. You, th you then might get a user account control prompt which uh, you have to accept or allow. Um, and then you'll get this window, welcome to the Hiarx Chess Explorer Setup Wizard. So if you're using the DVD version you'll get the same window and from this point on the process is exactly the same. As I say, we're just following the prompts, reading the information, and then clicking the buttons as necessary. So here we go. This will install Hiarx Chess Explorer 1.0 on your computer. It's recommended that you close all other applications before continuing, which is a good idea. So ready? if you're ready, click Next to Continue or Cancel to Exit. We don't want to exit. We just want to click Next to Continue. Here we get the end user license agreement. Um, a lot of people don't read these, but it's always a good idea to have a look down there. Just see what it is you're agreeing to. Because if you don't check I accept the agreement, you won't be able to carry on the installation. So you do need to little uh, check the little box next to I accept the agreement uh, by clicking once. Once you do that, you'll see that the, uh, the next button becomes ungrade. If I go back there, you can see you can't click it now. But when you click accept, you can just then click the next button. Additional tasks, there's only one of them, creating a desktop icon. Well, as we want to be using our Hiarx Chess Explorer all the time, then uh, that's a good idea to have that desktop icon. You can uh, uncheck it and then it just won't create the desktop icon. You'll still get the icons in the start menu and things like that, but that's the only thing that that will stop creating. But we want it, so check the box, click Next, and there we go, ready to install. Click Install to continue with the installation. We're ready to go and click install. So you can see the box, uh, the bar is filling up from the left. It should only take a few moments. Um, it will be a different speed depending on your computer and obviously if you're doing it from the DVD it may take a little bit longer depending on the speed of your DVD drive. But as I say it should just be um, a few moments and in fact there we go completing the Hiarx Chess Explorer setup wizard. Setup has finished installing Hiarx Chess Explorer on your computer. The application may be launched by selecting the installed icons. And you can see, in fact, we've got a Hiarx Chess Explorer icon here on the desktop. And all we need to do to run the program is double click that icon. Um, we've also got the option here to launch Hiarx Chess Explorer when we click finish. Um, you can uncheck that if you want to do something else, but we want to get straight into it, so just check that box and click finish. And we get our first look at the brand new Hiarx Chess Explorer. This is the point, uh, if you haven't registered yet, where it'll ask you to register your software. So if I just minimise the software, you'll see uh, my licence key has come through here. And um, this is the format you'll get your key. You'll get a licence name and a licence code. You'll need to copy those. It may have, If it's come with a, a download, it'll be um, in an email. Or if you've bought the DVD, it'll probably be in the box that comes with your DVD or on the front of the manual, somewhere like that. So you'll get this long number here, and all you have to do is copy and paste that and along with the license name into the appropriate boxes, click OK, and then you're ready to go.